get no service. How about you? I hardly get service in the city, let alone the desert. Yeah, I got nothing, man. Where the hell are we, anyway? This movie was a lot darker than I thought it would be. What about the script when you read it surprised you and made you want to join this project? It was just a beautifully written script. Kyle Killen is an amazing writer, and, you know, for me, I hadn't had a chance to do anything like this. These kinds of scripts don't come across my desk as much as I'd like, and oftentimes these things just don't come along ever. I knew that it was going to be a tremendous amount of work just to prepare for it with all the rehearsal, and it's just pretty much the two of us the whole time, but part of the reason I got into this business was to challenge myself, do different things, and this was one of those opportunities. And mohawks. Was it real? Oh yeah, it was real. So you had to walk around. I was thinking, I'm like, he has to go to the supermarket with that hair. I did. <laughs> One thing I wish it would have been a little oh, bit more, he did a little bit too nice of a job with the mohawk. It should have been a little bit here. I didn't here, really here, do here. it. There was like a hair guy that came in in between. Why are you ruining the dream? <laughs> what do you oh, think? No. Do you love it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! Where exactly did you shoot, and how did you get there every day? What was production like? Because it seems like you were really in the middle of nowhere. It was Death Valley. We stayed at this little place called the Furnace Creek Inn. It was a little mining town way back in the 1800s, and it's become a tourist attraction, but... Gorgeous sunsets. It's the only place in Death Valley, really, to stop. That's why I think gas was like nine bucks a gallon. Wow. Because they could get away with it, mother <laughs> But anyway, yeah. Dan and I would travel every morning. We actually drove from L.A. all the way through <laughs> to Death Valley. Every day, I'd go pick him up. Yeah. It was about a 15 or 20 minute drive. But it was a good way for us to actually, because there was a lot of dialogue in the beginning. We became very close. Come here. Hey! Come here! Hey! Ah! 